This is freaking history, y'all. The Cubs are going yeah. to the World Series! Oh my god! <laughs> Amanda is gone in Sacramento, and I just got off the phone with my dad, literally crying. Even my grandma is freaking out. 71 freaking years, y'all. I'm literally crying. Oh my god, I wish I was home right now. This is insane. <laughs> I can't even believe it. We're going to the World Series! <laughs> Amanda and I are on our way to Dodger Stadium for the Cubs game. Woo! I got her rocking a Cubs sweatshirt. It's gonna get me killed. We are so excited. Well, I'm really excited, and I think she's excited too. I'm excited because <laughs> you're so excited. Like your energy, I'm just feeding off of it. I am so freaking excited. If I can't be at a Cubs game in Chicago, I will be at a Cubs game in LA. Stopped at 7-Eleven to get some gum. And the gum wrappers have truth or dares on them. Mine says, Truth, who was your first kiss? So I told Amanda my first kiss story. Um, she was an ambitious five year old. I was. I, that, that was <laughs> I was at Sunday Bible school when I was five years old. And I don't really remember this. My mom tells me that I ran up to a boy. His name was Nathan, apparently. And I ran up to him at Sunday Bible school, five years old. And I just grabbed him and kissed him. <laughs> Hi, Nathan. <laughs> Hi, Nathan. Are you, if you're watching this. If you're watching, hit me up. <laughs> um, I was in fifth grade. And we were just getting out of school and it was like we were lining up to get to the buses and stuff mm -hmm. and we were both like holding hands with like this kid Mark that I've been talking to talking to, talking to in fifth, fifth grade. grade and I think we both wanted to and it was like the awkwardest thing in the whole world guys so, comment yeah. below if you have a really good first kiss I know story. I, I really want to hear your guys's first kiss story so please comment those below mm. we will catch you guys inside this is so serious y'all oh we are definitely the odd ones out we made it guys and we are already getting paid already on by our neighbors. <laughs> to be expected. No joke, we are literally like at the very top of the stadium, but it is all good because guess what? We are freaking here and I have zoom on my camera. So we are good. We can see everything that's happening. You know what? I am just honestly so grateful that we are here and that I'm here with my bestie. There's no one else I'd rather be here with. Mickey's first baseball game. Dodgers may be winning right now. But the sad truth is, they are all still putting ketchup on their hot dogs. We just got home, guys. It was a brutal game. The Cubs lost six to zero, but was still a fun experience. Got to take Amanda to her first baseball game. Eat. We're ready to get out of human clothes mm, and like pajamas. into sweatpants and eat. We are starving. We didn't indulge in any of the baseball goodies so we're starving time to put on sweatpants and eat catch y'all later what's up guys i'm getting ready to head to sheila bella to get my brows touched up i have my brows permanently done about two years ago using a micro stroke technique so it's different than a tattoo it actually looks like real hair strokes don't mind this powder on my face this is a translucent setting powder that i like to let sit while I'm doing the rest of my makeup. Um, I will show you guys that. It's my new favorite one by Bare Minerals. Getting ready to head out to Sheila Bella to get my brows touched up. It is semi-permanent. Um, so as you can see, these are my brows when they're not filled in. Since it's been about two years, they've faded, so I still have to fill them in. Using a brow pencil, I use the MAC brow pencil. I'm really excited to get them touched up and not have to fill my brows every single day. As I've talked about in previous videos, I'm super minimal and basic when it comes to makeup, probably because I'm not very skilled at it. So I like to be able to just wake up and go and having my brows permanently done is something that makes that possible and doable. You wake up and your brows are done and you look alive. This is the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil Translucent Powder that I had sitting on my face. It is the original Mineral Veil. Definitely my new favorite. I do want to document this moment that I'm wearing normal clothes and not gym clothes right now. These shoes are the booties that you saw in my last video from Forever 21. They were no more than $30. Jeans are from Fashion Nova. Uh, those were also, I think, mo no more than $30. Top is from Windsor. And I'm off. Time to get started. Guys, this is Sheila. Hi. 
girl. She's wiping off my numbing cream now. Okay, so it looks like you retain strokes in the center and towards your arches and your tails, you feel a little bit powdery. Okay. So I'm suggesting doing a few hair strokes in the front and then powdery, the powdery soft look, like three quarters of the way, all the way to the end. I hope that you guys are enjoying the video so far. Please watch all the way till the end as I do share some of my thoughts on off season and improvement season, overcoming setbacks, and why it's okay to not be perfect. having your pigment soak for a few minutes. You want to make sure that you go to a technician that's first of all certified, experienced, has a vast portfolio, and you do your homework. On top of that, um, a technician who's able to give you an alternative if microblading isn't suited for your skin type. Excited to see them. Go ahead. Oh my gosh, they're so freaking perfect, Sheila. Holy crap. I'm obsessed. Wow. Oh my gosh, these are amazing. So right now they are a little darker, like yeah. I said. Mm -hmm. Give it a full three weeks. Okay. Yep. And this is exactly how they looked when they were filled, except I don't have to fill them now. <gasps> Make my job so easy because your face is so pretty. Yes. Oh my gosh, I love her. <laughs> Guys, come see Sheila. She's the best. I can't stop looking at them. <laughs> Last time I was in here, Sheila told me, you, remember you told me the story of how you told your husband that you were pregnant the oh first my God. time. That you put like a loaf of bread in the oven. I right? did. I, put, I bought a bunch of <laughs> hamburger buns. Yeah, without any hamburgers. And I just told him like, honey, come here. I'm cooking something. <laughs> he was like, what, what, what? And I was like, look. And then I pulled into the oven. And then I was like, it's in there. Look, I'm making something for you. And then he opened the oven and, and the hamburger like, buns were in there. And I was like, get it? A bun? Get it? A bun. <laughs> and now she's pregnant with baby number two. Yeah. My second boy. Oh, yeah. If I ever have kids, I want like a circus of boys. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching my permanent brow experience. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And you will find all of the information for Sheila Bella permanent makeup in the description box below. Please continue watching as I share some of my thoughts on beginning my improvement season. Um, it will take about three weeks for them to completely heal and take on the shade that they will be. I did want to touch on something with you guys before I head back inside. It's in regards to being at the beginning of my improvement season. If you watched my video to compete or not compete, you'll remember how I talked about balance and how improvement or off season. Yes, it's a time to focus and to really capitalize on that time to make those improvements, but it's also a time to enjoy life and learn how to balance living, learning how to balance life and having fun and just living while still keeping your goals in mind and moving on from those days where you maybe don't hit your macros perfectly. Uh, last night, we went to a birthday party on the beach. We did a bonfire. We, there was s'mores, there was desserts, there was this, there was that. And looking back, probably a couple of years ago when I first started my journey, I probably would have been very anxious about this. But last night, I also made myself a mini s'mores and Amanda and I split a cookie. And I estimated those macros. Did I hit my macros perfectly yesterday? No, I probably did not. But I am okay with that because last night was more than just hitting macros. Last night was an opportunity to celebrate a friend's birthday. It was a time to bond with new friends and old friends and to just live in the moment. Life is way too short to put pressure on yourself to be perfect. Nothing is ever going to be perfect in life. 
Make the most of the moments that you have with the company that is around you. And if that means that you have to guess and estimate your macros that day, don't let it stress you out. Life will go on. Today I woke up, I felt great because I didn't overeat. I didn't overindulge. Did I hit my macro spot on? Was I probably somewhere within range? Probably, but at the end of the day, I had an amazing time with my friends. And I woke up today, I hit my cardio, I got right back on track with my macros, and I'm not stressing about it. I am moving on. And that is the key, you guys. Just never associate food with guilt. The key is just to get back up, get back on your plan 100% the next day, and don't let yourself feel guilty. Staying down and discouraged isn't going to do anything for you. It's not going to move you forward, and it's not going to take back the fact that you didn't hit your macros perfectly. Why sit and feel guilty? Instead, just get right back on track and move on. Am I saying that you should let your goals go to the wayside every time you're out in a social environment? No, if you watch my previous videos, you'll know that there were several times where I was out in social situations and I maybe brought my food or uh, I maybe didn't eat the different things that were out in front of me because at that time, my focus was 100% on prep. And at that same time, I was still able to enjoy my time because it's not always about the food, it's about the company that you're with. That is where you make your memories. In the moments where you have to stay focused on your goals, stay focused on your goals. And in the moments where you maybe can have a little leeway and enjoy yourself, do so and don't let yourself feel guilty about it and just get right back on track the next day. So that's where I'm at right now and my current thought process with off season and improvement season and I'm feeling really good. I'm so excited. I woke up today with my new training journal. I journaled how I felt. I hit my cardio. I had lots of energy for cardio, probably from being a little over in carbs last night, uh, but I woke up feeling really good. So, so far so good. Improvement season is off to an excellent start and I'm looking forward to keeping you all posted as we go along. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time.